What's up guys? Welcome to your 69th Android tutorial where we're finally actually going to get something on our canvas and uh, something within our activity that's going to display. Now that we have our uh, thread set up and it's going to start when the, this constructor is called from our uh, graphics surface class, uh, it's going to you know start this thread this thread and it's going to use this run method. So we're going to define what is what our thread actually does in this tutorial. So first thing we want to do is create a while loop. So it's just going to loop through and kind of update our canvas. So what we're going to do is say while true for now. Um, actually, let's just create a variable. Um, we're going to say while is running. And then we have to define what this is running variable is, which is going to be Boolean. So we're going to say is running. And we're going to set this equal to true to start out with. So this is going to be true, and it's going to do whatever is within this while loop. So there we go. We have our loop set up now. Now the first thing we want to do is check if our surface is valid. And again, that's what this holder does, um, one of the methods that this holder can do. So we're going to set uh, basically an if statement to check if you know uh, the surface is valid. First thing you guys want to do within here is put a explain uh, what is that expression mark? I think that's that's what that's called. Basically, put that first, and then we're going to say our holder. Then we're going to say dot uh, get surface, and then hit dot is valid. I'll explain this in a second, but just hit enter and continue. Beneath that, and then after that, this is where the magic is going to happen down here we're actually going to get our canvas and start working with it. Now let me explain what this if and what this continue is and what this exp or expression marks doing. Basically the expression is saying not. So if this is not valid, we're going to continue. Again, we don't have to put brackets if it's only doing one line for if statement. So um, if if the surface is not valid, it's just going to say continue. Now what continue is, it's pretty much like a break when we use switch in case because once it hits the break it's going to break out of the switch in case loop or whatever and uh, you know this will break out of our while loop if it hits this break statement and it won't get to the magic down here what continue does is it allows us to still continue within our loop but it's still not going to hit this this magic down here until you know our surface is valid once it's valid this statement's going to be false and it's going to skip over this continue and it's going to get to the magic. So it's just going to loop through here when the surface is not valid. Keep looping right here until once the surface is valid, again it's going to skip down here and do the magic. I know I said that in like five different five different times the same thing, but just kind of wanted to get you guys to understand that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a canvas. Again, we need to uh, paint on this where we're going to, you know, let everything happen and we're just going to call it canvas just like our previous uh, previous time we worked with the canvas and you have to import canvas I must have already done that or something and what we're going to set this canvas equal to is our holder and we're going to lock the canvas to start out with so we're going to say um, lock canvas so basically what's happening is we have this masterpiece we have this great idea and we want to paint it so we're going to lock our door and then we're gonna paint on our canvas and then we're gonna unlock our door and show the whole world uh, what we what we came up with basically is what we're we're doing within this uh, within this loop here so we're locking the canvas so no other classes no other activities can access this canvas uh, that's the point of locking it no other threads can get to it and so uh, once it's locked this is where we're gonna start painting on it or drawing on it I should say so we're going to say canvas dot uh, draw RGB, and then we're going to put some random values in here. So like two, oops, um, two. We're going to have it be pretty blue here. Hopefully, I think that's how it works. I don't know. So basically, we're just drawing the background color here. And now that, that we come up with this masterpiece, this uh, background, we're going to unlock our canvas and display it. So we're going to say 
Now our holder dot unlock canvas and post. And it takes a canvas within its parameters. Again, this is what we set up here. So it's going to unlock our canvas now and post it. And that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, we set up a run method and we start our thread here. Well, we create our thread and then we start our thread, which is going to go through all this stuff. So let's just make sure it works. And we'll kind of clean up this thread and I'll show you guys some other stuff you can do uh, in the next tutorial. It's getting pretty late, so sorry if I'm like falling asleep on you guys here. But uh, hopefully we don't get any errors. Again, you guys, um, whatever, you have to define that in the manifest. And there we go. We have our uh, canvas displayed. Everything's working properly with the surface view and our thread and all that good stuff. So seems to work, and I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Peace.